Well, Sean, it's starting, as we said, a broken we're, record. and We're running out of things to say, aren't I we? I know. What do you talk about? Uh, it's like, at this point, winter's got to be a wash. So do you have any guesses as to how much snow we've had so far this winter? Uh, I want to say it can't even be six inches, can it? It's actually nine. We really? had, we Doesn't had a, feel like yep, it. Yep, let's, uh, let me show you that 9.4, we had a cup. It's all been in little increments. The mm -hmm. most we've ever had at one point was that three inches we had a couple weeks ago, and right. that's... That's about it. You go back to last winter, of course, 74, almost 70 more inches of snow last year. Our average snowfall here in Mankato is right at around 40 inches. But this 9.4, now I know that I've mentioned many times our cl climatological data of record keeping here in Mankato has been garbage and it's frustrating, but I've tried to go kind of piece things together here using Mankato and some of the surrounding sites. We're going to be in the top five if we don't get any more snow. We are, I think, going to get more. I mean, it is only the end of February, and we can have snow right on through March and into April, but we are uh, pushing the top five for sure here uh, this winter with that 9.4, and we're not uh, helping it out much with this. High today of 51 in Mankato, 50 in New Ulm, Redwood Falls, 51, Marshall, 56, Esterville, high of 58 today, Fairmont and Blue Earth, another day with highs in the 50s, and we're going to keep this trend going, although we are going to take a brief uh, hiatus from the 50s, at least, I think, as we head into tomorrow and especially on Friday. We have a couple of little systems that are going to bop through here. 45, that's our temperature. The wind is out of the southeast at 3. Everything is just uh, moving along fine and dandy here tonight. 45, Mankato, 46, Fairmont, Blue Earth, 49, and Marshall, Jackson, our temperature 46. Twin Cities currently at 47 degrees, and that snowpack. Remember yesterday, I mean, it was, you know, an inch or less here the day before or there, but that uh, warm air has really done a number on that, and uh, we're going to see that continue to dwindle. A little bit of snow left in some shady spots, but the sun angle now is coming up, too, and so the sun is direct enough to do some melting here. Here's our live Doppler. We have some showers down to our south. Not much. This is actually way more impressive on radar than it is in uh, real life because this is kind of in between the Minneapolis, the La Crosse, the Des Moines and the Sioux Falls radars and uh, the radar being several thousand feet up when it kind of intersects the system. And so this is actually mostly moisture aloft. Some of it is making it to the ground, but not much. Just a few sprinkles here and there. A couple of systems. This one's going to meld together with this one as it pushes to the southeast, bringing slightly cooler temps tomorrow. This one is the one that's going to bring in colder air as we head into Friday. Highs are going to drop to the 30s for about a day. We may catch a flurry or two as this thing comes through as well. And then we're going to bring it right back into the weekend with 50s and 60s. Jet stream continues its westerly flow type pattern. Of course, we get our warmer air from the west. Typically in the winter, the jet stream comes in from the north and that brings some colder air. As we make our way into next week, we're going to see the pattern shift a bit. Notice this lobe of cold air that's going to swing down. There's going to be a little kink in the jet stream. And uh, that's actually going to help uh, bring a system in next week that's going to bring some rain and snow Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday of next week. It's still real early to get specific, but there is the possibility of some moisture there, something we're definitely going to watch closely. But then after that system moves through, we're going to warm things right back up again. 35 tomorrow, 50 Saturday, 50 Sunday, 60 Monday. We'll get to 51 on Tuesday with rain late, some snow on Wednesday, and then we'll bounce back to the 50s by late next week. Ian Dion, it's really early to get specific with next week's system. It's still a week away. Mm -hmm. Hasn't even developed yet, but something we'll be watching, and there is the possibility we may be getting some, uh, maybe some measurable snow. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Sean. Well, tonight at 10, Russia has arrested another American citizen that, as the White House says, new sanctions are coming. Plus, a dynamic father-daughter duo is on a life-saving mission, fighting heart disease with fitness during American Heart Month. Join us for those stories and more tonight on KYC News Now. We'll be right back with sports. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.